My name is Ursula Feist. I was born in Berlin in the 20s, a German-Jewish baby to comfortable middle-class family. It was, I was sheltered and loved my school. In January 1933, with Hitler at the helm, our peace was shattered. The final solution of the Jews had begun. I understood pretty quickly what it was to be constantly afraid, to whisper, hide and run. In May of 1939, I was one of those 10,000 lucky children the British saved by getting on a kinder transport in the nick of time. My parents and sister went to Shanghai, living under abhorrent conditions. I only saw them again in 1951. However, in spite of being categorized as a friendly enemy alien, I was interned in the Isle of Man for a year. The war ended in May 1945, by which time I was married. On VE Day, my husband, a couple of friends and I sat on a carousel belting out Rule Britannia. People were flag-waving, dancing and kissing, but my extended family and so many friends could not celebrate. They were dead. Their ashes buried in Auschwitz, Sobibor, Riga or Treblinka. Who shaved my cousin's long blonde hair and what happened to it? Did it become a wig? Had nobody in Europe seen or smelled the smoke? I could not wave a flag. I could not sing along. I could not cry. I held my husband's hand. We had lost so much, but we were happy to have one another. His adored mother had been murdered. I thought of my family's Passover table with my uncle's aunt's cousins. I found a broken piece of matzo in a Haggadah my father gave me in 1939 at our last Seder in Berlin. I gave it to grandson, but does he understand what it meant to me? How could he? How could anyone? I'm not full of revenge for something that happened so long ago. Something I cannot change. I cannot afford to live in the past, although black memories often haunt me. My young life was poisoned, but I must not allow poison to stay in my system in my final years. Antisemitism is ugly, global and rising. I often feel an outsider here as I did in England, where I was our little refugee. I am asked where I originally come from. Nobody is alive, I can ask. Don't you remember? Berlin is the only city in the world where I have no accent. I am scared when I look at our dysfunctional world of today. Holocausts are no longer a German problem, they are a human problem. Discrimination can only be eradicated by educating the young, starting in kindergarten, making them understand what is right and what is wrong, what has happened must never be allowed to happen again. It is up to the next generations to make sure it doesn't.